some of your uh, your presentation, your caps notes, and your uh, your marriage certificate, your conversion in Dubai. I, I've read uh, some of it, but I will ask you questions, and then you can go from there. Okay, good. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. So, so I'll start with uh, with uh, should I say Fatima? Yes. Yes. Fatima. Please. So, so, uh, so Fatima, uh, right now, are you are you working in Canada? Uh, no, I'm a student here, but I have part time job in Canada. Uh, your your uh, your studies are ending uh, on what month and year? Uh, in tr July, uh, t tr July twenty twenty one. Okay, and what is the degree that you will get? Uh, it's a post grad post certificate. I I'm, I'm studying at college right now, so it's yeah. just one year program. Can you can you tell me the credential that you will get? What is the credential that you get? Um, post grad certificate like Ontario uh, post grad certificate. In what? What is the subject? Um, in supply chain management. Supply chain. Okay. Just just a minute. I'm I'm writing notes. All right. So just wait. Yeah, yes. Okay. And what is the part time job do you have at present? Um, I'm a student ambassador at college and uh, international advisor counsel at the college as well. In the college itself. Yes. What is the college? Conestoga. Oh, uh, Conestoga College. Do they pay you any money? Any salary yes. for us? How much? Yes. Uh, they pay me money. How much? Um, fifteen dollars per hour. Do you have a bank account in Canada? Yes, I have. How much? How much money and how much funds are you showing right now? Um, eight thousand three hundred dollars. Uh, sorry, eight thousand. Yes, eight thousand three hundred. Uh. Who who is in your family in uh, Vietnam and here? Do you have any family members? Uh, tell me just briefly how many people in your family. Uh, in Vietnam, I have five five members, but in Canada, I have relatives. Five, five members. Yes. Okay. Uh, brothers and sisters, how many? Uh, two two brothers and my m mom and dad. And, and where are these two brothers? And where are these two brothers? They are in Vietnam. Okay. Uh, they they have come to uh uh Orangzeb, you are you are shaking too much. Just take it easy. You are you are moving okay. too much. Yeah. Uh, so um, uh, so these two brothers have come to Canada ever? No. No. Okay. Do you have any families? Uh, any relatives in Canada? I have relatives. Uh, they are my grandpa's brothers and sister, and also my mom's cousin. Okay. Where where do they live? They live in BC, British Columbia. Okay. All right, that's fine. Uh, <clears throat> all right, so just just focus on my question, and then we can go from there. What? When was the first day, first time you met your husband? Um, you mean in person or online? Oh, online, online. I don't remember the day. I just remember the the the, the month only. Okay, go ahead. Go to the month, month and year. Um, in December twenty eighteen. This in December 2018, the first time which was an online uh, like a group matching uh, dating website. Yes. OK, and what was the website called? A single Muslim. Single Muslim dot com, I think. Eh? Yes. So at that time uh, you don't practice Islam, though. How did you get to single Muslim dot com? No, actually, I, I, I revert uh, to Islam three years ago in uh, 29, uh, 2017. I convert to Islam in uh, June 2017. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I have to write down just to wait. So, so June, June 2017, you converted to Islam? Yes, uh, on day uh, 23rd. Just, just a minute. Hold on, hold on. Now, now I will check your document. Just a minute. Uh, in, uh, in, in Dubai, I think. No, in Vietnam, in Dubai, just uh, like they put my another like office or document, but in that document, I have the document from Vietnam, like certify that I convert in into Islam in uh, June 2017. Okay, I, I see that. I think it's written here from uh, 25th June 2017. Yes. Okay, 
And and what were the circumstances? How did you convert to this religion? Can you just tell me briefly? Don't give, just one one or two lines. Um, just because like at that time, I'm curious about Islam, so I learned about Islam by myself, and I see that it fits with my what I'm looking for. So finally, I convert. Okay, no, it's okay. That's fine. So when did you come to Dubai first time? Um, I came to Dubai on. I don't remember exactly the day, but um, oh, yeah, I remember. It's 29 July uh, 2019. 29 July 2019. You were uh, were trying to do a work there, or what? What made you come to Dubai? I came to Dubai to meet with my husband, and uh, we were planning for our marriage. So I came there. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So you were in Vietnam. Uh, you you were on this website uh, uh, December 2018, and then uh, you were connecting uh, with this person, and then you discovered that he was in Dubai at the time. So you came to Dubai to meet your husband. Is that right? No, um, it was like this. We met in December 2018, and then we talked uh, like a lot, and then actually in uh, June 2019 that my husband want to marry with me. And then at that time, he tried to apply visa to come to Vietnam. But at that time, because like there are some issue with e visa or something, my husband cannot get the visa to come to Vietnam, to Vietnam. marry me in Vietnam. Yeah, okay. and my family knows about this. Yes. Okay. So, okay. yes. And then and then uh, I'll, I'll just I'll just jump to him. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to him in English so that you can follow. Uh, so, uh, Aurangzeb, when did you first, uh, you were living in Be uh, Dubai that time? Tell me when, when did you first come to Dubai? Uh, sir, I went to Dubai in 2016, April 2016. Just a minute. April 2016 on work visa. What were you doing there in Dubai? Actually, my first visa is, was a chief clerk. I worked as an accountant and my second visa was an accounting manager. That I got in 2016. Wait, 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 December wait, wait, wait. Just, just tell me the answer to my specific question. I don't know uh, more, more details. So the first time you came to Dubai was on to work in April 2016, correct? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. No, uh, in sir, sir, just a minute. In April, I went for visit. So okay. in August, I got a visa as a chief clerk. Okay. And and uh, uh, so. How long are you working in Dubai or are you still in Dubai or tell me the, your work history in Dubai? Actually, sir, I went in 16 and in on visit, then I got a visa for our chief clerk. I worked on that. Then I got uh, December 2018. I got an accounting manager visa. Okay. So I work on that. And in that year, like 2019, I went for marriage like me and Fatma. And then we applied visa in November 2, 2019, spouse visa. Actually, my elder brother, he's in UK, sir. He talked to you about us and you told him the everything. Then we applied the visa. But unfortunately, we got a refusal. So, so again, we are with you now. So in March 2020, I left my job due to COVID. Actually, not due to COVID. In, April, in February, I got a new job offer from another company. Yeah. I accept yeah. that job offer. After accepting that, my brother was going marriage in Pakistan, so I went back just for vacation that I will go Pakistan and enjoy the marriage. And after that, I will get the new visa and I will go back. Yeah, yeah. But suddenly happened that when I reached Pakistan, after that suddenly borders of immigration systems was closed in Dubai. So yeah. my visa is gone, so I'm still in Pakistan, right? So so right now you are in Pakistan, you have no job in Dubai, nothing. Those those ties have cut off and you are jobless. Yeah. And you, you're working in Pakistan? Are you working now? Yeah, I'm working. Yes, sir. I am working what, from August. What, I got a job. What is the what is the job that you're working in Pakistan? Sir, accountant. Okay. And what is the salary per month? Uh, it's according to Pakistani, sir, sixty thousand rupees. Okay. And you are working uh, in this uh, in this uh, job for how many months now? Eight months? Nine months? No, sir. I just got in August, so it's four months. You can see. Four months. Okay. Six months. I uh, was out of the job. I've, I've got I've got the answer. So, uh, um, do you have money in Pakistan? Do you have a bank account and funds in Pakistan? 
Sir, actually, when I left Dubai in March, so I withdraw all bank from the Dubai and came Pakistan six like three months. I did not open the account due to COVID situation, the timing of the banks and the situation of country. In June, I open the account. I put the money, seventeen lakh Pakistani, and in August, uh, because our visa answers, our reply was not came. So in August, we sent them. Like new bank statement from Pakistan, and when I reach in Pakistan in March, we also send a web form that I reach Pakistan. I left the job, and this all scenario. So you are also confused, like maybe they refuse a card due to that situation. Okay. This uh, time, just just tell me, just tell me, how much funds do you have in your bank account in Pakistan right now? Right now, I sir, I had twenty three lakh. You can say eighteen thousand Canadian dollar. Oh, good. Okay. All right, I've got uh, quite a lot of information here. I'll, I'll jump back to uh, Fatima and then ask some questions. So, uh, uh, Fatima, you applied uh, uh, for the spouse visa for your husband on your own, or you used a lawyer or somebody? Uh, uh, I applied by myself. Okay, okay, and you applied only one time. Yeah, only one time. And one time he's uh, refused now, which is I think yeah. last month, this month or so. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, Aurangzeb, how many? Uh, uh, so you, uh, she told me that you were refused for Vietnam once. You have a Vietnam is uh, refu refusal? Actually, not sir, refusal. Just to apply to the consultancy that I told them I wanna get my visa, so I will give them documents. After uh, researching some, they said that uh, Vietnam country they closed the visa for Pakistan. They did not give me any refusal. They said they the government of Vietnam. Oh, so, so Pakistan, uh, no uh, Pakistani citizen can apply to for Vietnam. Yeah, at that time. Yeah, at that time, one, four, two, three, three months. Yeah. Do you do you have a visa for any other country like Europe, America, Australia, New Zealand, anywhere? No, sir. Have you applied for any country and have you been refused for any country before? No, sir. So you, you have zero travel history beside uh, UAE. No, sir. I went on visit uh, Georgia. You know Georgia country, and I think part of Russia like that. Then and I also I went for Umrah in Saudi Arabia one yeah. time. So that's fine. So no other travel history. And uh, uh, you you told me earlier that about your brother in uh, UK. And tell me his name. I don't remember his name. What is his name? His name is Atif sir, Muhammad Atif. Last year when like we married, so I told him. So he he was really like you can say in spirit of your videos and all. So he talked to you about us. Yeah. You told him like. All the scenarios. So after telling, after his guidance, we applied the visa. Unfortunately, it refused, and no, he also guide us to talk to you first. Okay. So then oh, go for it. We are talking now. So you have one brother who is in UK right now. Is he a citizen of UK? Yes, sir. Okay. How many other brother sisters do you have? Sir, I have totally five brother and one sister. So three brothers in Pakistan. I am a fourth, and one in UK, and sister also in Pakistan. Nobody in Canada or US. No, sir. You have any Mamu, Chachu, Kalu, anybody in 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 uh, Canada or US? No, sir. No. They are in Pakistan. Nobody, nobody, no, no other connection in Canada or US in your family. No, sir. Okay, okay, good. So I've got all this, most of the information, and uh, my uh, my gut feeling is that uh, uh, I don't see any problem. He will get the visa. Uh, and uh, I don't, you know, I don't see many uh, legal impediments that you will stop him from getting the visa. Uh, so I've asked all the questions. Now it is your chance to ask me the questions and then we'll go from there. You can start with anybody. Fatima, you can start. You can go ahead and ask me questions and then, then I'll answer them. Sir, just for five minutes, I want to tell you the whole story. Uh, so I will tell you very fast. सर एक्चुअली हम सिंगल मुस्लिम डॉट कॉम पे मिले थे दिसंबर 2018 में जस्ट इन फाइव मंथ्स मतलब आफ्टर टैकिंग कॉल्स व्हाट्सएप तो उसके बाद हमने जब डिसीजन लिया तो मैंने वेतनाम का वीजा अप्लाई किया जो कि रिफ्यूज हुआ सडनली इनको स्टूडेंट वीजा मिल गया था ये कनाडा चली गई और कनेडा से फिर हमने ये डिसाइड किया कि ये दुबई आएंगी और दुबई हम शादी करें तो ये अगस्त में जुलाई में ट्वेंटी को दुबई आई सेकेंड ऑफ अगस्त को हमने शादी कर ली इन दुबई सो एक मंथ का इन्होंने स्टे किया ट्वेंटी ऑफ अगस्त को ये वापस स्टडी कंटिन्यू करने के लिए चली गई आफ्टर लॉट ऑफ सर जो आपकी इन्फॉर्मेशन जिन आपसे जो गाइडलाइंस मिली उसके मुताबिक हमने नवंबर सेकंड को वीजा अप्लाई किया हम अप फ्रंट मेडिकल के साथ 
जस्ट वी वर जस्ट वेटिंग हम वेट कर रहे थे दिसंबर में इनको वेकेशन हुई लेकिन क्योंकि मैं बिजी था अपनी जॉब के साथ तो ये नहीं आ सकी उसके बाद कोविड की सिचुएशन आ सक, आ गई मेरे भाई की शादी पे भी ये पाकिस्तान नहीं आ सकी और मैं पाकिस्तान आ गया और वीजा मेरा खत्म हो गया दुबई का तो मैं इधर फंस गया सिचुएशन सारी ऐसी बनी फिर हमने आर को जो इन्फॉर्म कर दिया वेब थ्रू वेब फॉर्म के जरिए कि हमारी जॉब चली गई है और मैं पाकिस्तान में हूँ मेरा करंट एड्रेस ये है और मेरी ये सिचुएशन है और मैंने तमाम मनी भी विड्रा कर ली है तो हम ये सोच रहे थे शायद ये रीजन बली वीजा रिफ्यूज होने की जब मेरी जॉब चलेगी हमने उन्हें सच सारा कुछ बता दिया देन हम उसके बाद वेट करते रहे जून में जब मैंने बैंक अकाउंट ओपन करवाया तो मैंने हमने अगेन वेब वेब फॉर्म सेंड किया कि ये मेरी न्यू बैंक स्टेटमेंट है और मेरा डेरी का अगर आप जानते हैं कि हमारा जो पंजाब में लोग रहते हैं हमारी पेरेंट्स की तरफ से लैंड जमीन और डेयरी का ये बिजनेस होता है और हमारा ऑलरेडी है डेयरी फार्मिंग से रिलेटेड जानवरों का पंजाब में पंजाब में आपको पता है हर बंदे का ही जो होता है जो हमारा सिलसिला है वो था वेब फॉर्म में वो शो शो तो नहीं किया वेब फॉर्म में हमने बताया कि मैं डेरी बिजनेस के मतलब काम कर रहा हूँ और प्लस ये मेरी बैंक स्टेटमेंट है जो न्यू है सेवनटीन लैख देन थ्री मंथस हमने वेट किया उसके बाद सडनली रिफ्यूजल आ गया तो हमारा पहला क्वेश्चन तो ये है कि वो वीजा रिफ्यूज हुआ क्यों बाकी तो आप चीजें समझ नहीं रहे हैं तो फर्दर फर्दर हम क्वेश्चन करते रहेंगे जी सर जी जी पहली बात तो ये है कैन आई से इन इंग्लिश नाउ और और मे बी आई 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 वांट हर आई वांट हर लिसन इन सो फर्स्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द फातिमा हर हर फातिमा यस हिज क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज द व्हाट इज द मेन रीजन ऑफ रिफ्यूजल डिस्पाइट शोइंग द मैरिज एंड इनविटेशन एंड ट्रैवल एंड मनी एंड अदर थिंग्स Uh, his question is why why did the visa get refused uh what what my uh, what my short answer is that uh, they are suspicious of the marriage uh and they are not sure uh not sure why did the husband uh get married to a vietnamese uh, girl which is untraditional in uh, pakistan society uh and then perhaps perhaps this is perhaps and perhaps using the wife to gain entry to canada uh, let me just elaborate uh, right now close to about uh, 600000 students uh, come to canada every year including from india vietnam china philippines africa us pretty much all over the world uh, all these students who are coming to canada eventually they will become uh immig- immigrants uh, by getting a work permit uh so a lot of people a lot i'm not saying you or some, but a lot of people especially in these countries in asian countries are using girls as a vehicle to gain entry to go to canada through work permit and eventually get immigration so this is the main reason they are suspicious uh why and how this marriage has unfolded do you understand are you understanding yeah. what yes so this is the main reason now in your in your application i saw i saw your application in the documents and the letter that you wrote to the visa officer if i was a visa officer i would have also rejected okay so i i don't i don't blame the uh, the visa officer whoever saw the application these these officers are canadian federal officers they are very smart they are very educated they are very experienced and they look at i would say at least 50 to 100 applications every day from all over the world they know uh, immediately within 5 minutes uh, what is the story what is going on so that is my uh, first of all main answer why did it get refused it's because of uh, because of uh, lack of uh, perception of genuineness but anyway i will i will read out the the caps notes the caps notes as is posted on october 2nd it tells uh, clearly let me just read few lines one or two lines and then i'll dwell on it so the husband is requesting re, husband is requesting for a work permit to join spouse on uh, study permit attending college courses but studies to end in uh, april 2021 your studies are ending in april 2021 i think i think uh, what you said is july uh, they they think your program will end in that means after four months four months from now uh, marriage since August 2019 met online first in marriage was just prior to the wedding and appeared not to have been each other so so the visa officer has not seen proof uh of proof of your meeting uh you know after wedding whatever time you spend after wedding you did not provide any proof do you understand you you may have met and you may have lived together you must have gone to honeymoon or other things but 
uh, you did not provide them the enough proof. Now, subject is the national Pakistan on temporary status. You know, UA works in accounting manager, modest income, family big ties, based on evidence provided. Subjects, personal financial ties, country. I'm not sad as a bona fide temporary. Okay, so this is this is very clear to me. It is not a it's not a big problem. You know, this is like uh, this is like when you go to a doctor. Uh, Fatima, have you been to a doctor in Canada? No, I never. I you never. never. Have you yeah. been to a doctor in Vietnam? Yes. Okay. When you go to a doctor in Canada, uh, uh, the, the the doctor tells you, look, this is the problem, this is a diagnosis, and you have a serious disease, but we have a treatment. But, you know, but we have a treatment and this is how it will be solved. So this is what I will do. I will tell you right now. Yes, we have a problem. Uh, your, your marriage and relationship is not properly, um, I, I, the word is is not properly documented, but I'm I'm fully confident that he will get the visa in uh, maybe next time or you know maybe one or two times. Right now it is COVID. Uh, it, you know this is a COVID. Uh, you know processing since uh, March uh, March 18 of 2020. Uh, most of the applications for immigration are slightly backlogged, and uh, uh, and uh, spouse visa, which is open work permit. Visas are not priority workers as far as Canada is concerned. So they have a great incentive to refuse the visas of this kind of, of your you know, open work permit right now based on student. So I'm not surprised and shocked that it was refused. But uh, if you apply uh, for the second time or third time, if the if the COVID if the COVID travel restrictions stay, it will be refused second time as well. But I don't I, I, I don't I don't think it will be refused if, if the COVID is a uh, little is eased off. Uh, if you can apply maybe in March or uh, April, or so then he will surely get the visa. Now, with the problem I see is this, your studies are ending in April uh, after four months from now. So this is a, this is a great uh, way to get refused one more time. Uh, so uh, you need to apply after you get the work permit, which is you can you can get the work permit in uh, May of 2021. Please. Actually, sir, uh, when we got refused in 2nd October, uh, so we have a discussion about discussion and decided that we will apply again. Then we have a discussion about the two of us, and we have said that you have heard your videos, that we have said that without caps note, you have not done caps note, so take caps note first. As soon as caps note comes, then my brother is living in the UK, so he knows that people are living in the UK, so he knows that people are living in the UK, so he knows that people are living in the UK, so he knows that people are living in the UK, so he knows that people are living in the UK, so he knows that people are living in the UK, so he knows that people are living in the UK, so he knows that उनसे डिस्कस करें अभी आपका राइट right टाइम नहीं है वीजा अप्लाई करने का अगर वो कहते हैं आपको गाइड करते हैं तो आप लोग कर सकते हैं तो इसलिए हमने ये मैन हमारा ये भी क्वेश्चन था कि कब हमें वीजा अप्लाई करना चाहिए और किन डॉक्यूमेंट्स के साथ कैन यू कैन यू समराइज दिस क्वेश्चन टू योर वाइफ सो दैट शी अंडरस्टैंड्स डू यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट यू वांट टू से एक्चुअली आई टोल्ड हर क्वेश्चन बिफोर यू डू डू यू अंडरस्टैंड डू यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट ही इज सेइंग Uh, I think he said that, that like after refusal, like we we think about apply again, but without applying, uh, without knowing the reason, we should apply for the caps note. That's why right. we have to apply for the caps note, like to see the reason before apply right. again. So I can I can I can summarize I can uh, and you know uh, the this uh, wonderful thing about technology is that we are recording this conversation, so you can send this conversation to your brother as well to UK if he wants to. He can listen in, and then he can he can see what we said. So, uh, starting with the timing of the visa application, you will apply after after she gets a work permit. Now, how does it work here uh, in Canada that uh, the work permit application for students takes so close to about two months or so? Now, as soon as she graduates, graduate means as soon as she finishes the the certificate program in supply chain in April of uh, maybe April 30th or so, uh, she needs to have a job. Uh, she needs to have a NOC skill job, NOC OANB, and she needs to be working uh, to have a job. That means without a job offer and without the salary slips, she cannot sponsor the husband. So the best thing is to start planning now, where will you get the job? And then as soon as April 30th, April 31st, you can apply online. All the applications are done online for Postgraduate work permit, you can apply online, and you can start working the next day as soon as you have a file number. You don't have to wait till the actual physical delivery of the work permit. You can start working the second day, and uh, once you have, 
uh, you know, work uh, salary certificates like salary slips for at least at least three periods. That means every two weeks you get a salary. So you can work for about 45 days and then you will have uh, you will have your salary slips for at least three pay periods. You have your job letter and you have your bank statement. You can come to me and I can apply for you. No problem at all. So uh, give or take, you have to wait till uh, at least uh, May, April, May, uh, you know, latest by middle of June, uh, maybe first week or second week of June. Okay, okay sir. Okay. So salary will matter? Her salary will matter, sir? Yes, her salary. Will, yes, yeah, that's a good qu question. Now, these are called skilled job. That means she cannot work in unskilled jobs. So skilled jobs in every area in, in Canada, there's a salary requirements. So uh, I have to ask her, what is the job that she will do? Do, do you have a job offer? Uh, right now, no. Um, but I, I will apply. Like I'm trying to apply right now. Uh, like before, like before I dry, I, I should apply. But I'm trying to apply right now to get a job. Like before I dry read. Yeah. So uh, so if you do an office job, let's say office administration job or anything to do in office. Uh, you you are looking at close to at least sixteen seventeen dollars an hour, or around that range. Okay. All right. Just a, if you tell me the job category, I can tell you exactly how much salary. But you know, just an average guess estimate. If you work in an office job, maybe you know office worker, administration, or accountancy, something, uh, you are looking at close to at least between fifteen dollars fifty cents and and above sixteen plus or so. So that's what you're looking looking at. So this is called skill job. The government is looking at whether the wife has a skilled job. She has the necessary salary and funds to support the husband who's coming from a different country. Uh, and then uh, she will also have to have some funds. So she told me earlier that she has eight thousand three hundred dollars, which is insufficient right now. So my first recommendation is you need to bring this uh, balance all the way till close to sixteen thousand dollars. If you don't have the money, your husband has the money. So your husband. So we have another five months to go, January, February, March, April, May. Five months to go. So you can ask your husband to start sending you some money, support money, uh, not in one shot, but let's say you know you need close to about uh, at least nine thousand dollars. So close to. Uh, so husband can send you a close to about fifteen hundred dollars every month, every month regularly online. You know, bank to bank transfer. So that means. By the time May, by the time May, you will have close to about sixteen to seventeen thousand dollars. We need the, we need this balance. All right, so so make sure you are keep writing down because we are recording. Otherwise, I will forget how much money you need. Uh, so you need this money. So you need uh, these three things are mandatory. You need a job offer letter. I need your appointment letter. That means you know appointment letter. It tells you what is the salary and stuff. It has job description duties. I need your salary slips for three three uh, three pay periods. And uh, number three, I need your bank statement in Canada, like you know, Scotia Bank, TD Bank, or whatever. So you will print six months. Remember this, uh, at least four months. So January, you at the time, if you contact me now. By the way, I can do this for you, or you can do this on your own. There's no compulsion, by the way. I huh? just wanted to let you know. If you want to file, you can file on your own. And I always tell in my videos, people should save money and file on their own. Uh, people only come to me when they are refused, but I, I I tend to have them. You know, they can apply fresh. But if you have to come through, come to me. I will require your your salary slips. I will require your appointment letter. I will require your four months minimum bank statement. January, February, March, April, four months bank statement showing a average balance of close to about sixteen thousand, seventeen thousand dollars and above. So I need these three things to get started, and plus. Uh, you know, you we will have your postgraduate certificate. Uh, you know the the file number as well, so that's that should be fine. So this is all I need from from the wife. Now from husband side, husband side, I will need some things, and uh, I'm telling Aurangzeb to write this down. So I need uh, Aurangzeb's uh, job letter from Pakistan. Job letter that job. I have already signed. Okay, good. Uh, job. So your, your job letter from Pakistan. So you are working for four months. By the time you will another work. So for the past eight months, for the past eight months, I need your salary slips in Pakistan. Salary slips like uh, they transfer money in my account. Yeah, so that, I can show my bank. That does not matter. You need to go. You need to go and tell them. Look, I need a separate salary slips. 
like a, some kind of certificate showing that this is the salary we are we are giving it to you. Now it can be deposited into bank. That's a total different thing. But I still need a separate salary slip and with the notary and seal and you know who's the owner, who's the manager. I need some kind of proof that you are getting a salary. Okay, sir. Next. So that is item number two. Item number three is. Uh, as you said that your salary is deposited into your bank account, so I need for you to to print your uh, bank statement from the past eight months. So four months before and four months now for the past eight months, showing all the debit and credits on your on your bank statement, showing that the money was credited on this and this date as a salary. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so that's what we need. Uh, uh, number number three, I need some kind of in Pakistan. Do you file income tax return? No, sir. No. Actually, sir, I work in Dubai, so you know, for foreigner, nothing, no tax, nothing. Oh, sir. So in Pakistan, we have. Been... Sir, forget about Dubai, sir. So I'm not. I'm. Now you are working in Pakistan for four months, and then you will be working again. Con I hope continue to work another four months. So in the past eight months, so. There is no requirement in Pakistan to file income tax. No, sir. Well, well, I, I don't understand. Nobody files income tax return in Pakistan. Actually, sir, it's you can say if you are a filer in FBR, then you can pay. I am not a filer because why, why, before why, was a file. If you if you if you want to if you want to get the Canada visa, I want you to file your income tax return in Pakistan. Can you? If I will file, I will become my filer like FBR. I should register myself. You are, you are saying that, so you have to register my parents' property and everything. So it's you know it's really hard for me. Like parents, uh, you know everything. Parents' here, name. Here, here's the problem. Here, here's the problem. The yeah. the Canadian visa officer. Maybe your application will be decided in Islamabad or maybe in Europe or Abu Dhabi or something. We don't know. We don't know which because here this application went to Poland as you saw. Uh, the visa officer sitting somewhere else, they do not know uh, what is your official income in Pakistan. Once you file, we don't care how much tax you pay to the Pakistani government, but what we care is, have you disclosed all your income to the government so that we know this is your official income to the government? Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? You got it, sir. If you, if you want to, if you want to focus on credibility to the, to the Canadian government, I strongly recommend, I strongly recommend, I, I I can tell you this, most of the cases that I do, whether they are, I have some cases in Saudi Arabia also, in Dubai, India, uh, Philippines as well, in China, I, I have not submitted any single case which has not been successful, which did not file income tax return to the government. When you, when you file income tax return to the government, the Canadian visa officer has strong confidence that whatever you are saying is true and correct. Because if you say that your income is 60,000 per month, we don't know you have a salary certificate, but the government has not recognized this is your official income. Maybe you have some other private income from dairy, as you said, or some farming land or some other part-time part -time regular business, who knows? But the, the statement listed to the Pakistani government is the official statement that says that this is your total annual income. Do you want, do, are you, are, am I making any sense? Yes, I got the idea, but I want to say something on that. If I show you my file, that this is my salary and this, that, so I have to show my assets as well. So assets are my parents' name. I don't have anything in my name. So if you have a visa, you have to do this. If you have a visa, you have to do this in the last minute. उसके बाद वीजा मिल जाएगा उसके बाद आप तो आप तो उड़ जाओगे आप जो करना है करो आपके जितने भी एसेट्स आपके नाम पे हैं वो आप शो करो सर तो वीजा अप्लाई करने के लिए मुझे मेरे नाम पे कोई एसेट होना जरूरी नहीं है नहीं एसेट की जरूरत नहीं है नहीं एसेट एसेट चाहिए हमें एसेट नहीं चाहिए हमें इनकम चाहिए लास्ट टाइम आपने देखा होगा जो मैंने सीए सर्टिफिकेट जो दिया था उनको सब बकवास है सर जी सर बकवास है उस पे मत उस पे फोकस ना करें आप मेरे को एसेट्स नहीं चाहिए आई विल टॉक टू यू नो इन इंग्लिश बिकॉज़ आई वांट हर टू अंडरस्टैंड so, yeah. so the, the question what he's asking is how much assets we need to show. What I said was, and I've, and I've maintained this for many years in my many videos, uh, the visas are not given based on assets. Whether, whether you have a $1 million house in Pakistan, whether you have $100 million per house in Pakistan, it has no effect on the visa. Many, many people think that if we have a lot of assets, then we will get the visa. That is not true. Uh, the visas are given on your current income. 
how much income do you have per month per year that is the only criteria of the of the visa in fact in your caps notes the visa officer has list said that this guy has modest income that means the visa officer said that your income is low according but, to what you can go but but sir when i applied from dubai my salary was 88000 uh, dirham so it will be like you can say 2700 canadian dollar it is it is still low. it is absolutely low it is it is not still much it is not much according to you are going there to support the wife so the visa visa is given to the husbands to go and support the wife all right and uh the income that you of course there are two parts of it one is the what is the current income and how much funds you can carry so we will we will combine those together so if, if for example if you have 2000 if you have 2700 dollars canadian dollars a month income then if you have been working for 2 years 3 years i would expect as a visa officer that if you have some savings if you have saved close to 12000 dollars a year then your your total income your cash funds cash funds accumulated from your salary will be close to about 15 to 20000 dollars which may be true or not which i don't know whether you showed that money in dubai or not but it does not matter at that point of time he did not see those funds as enough at that time like 2 uh, months ago so what i'm saying again and again and i will i will say this uh, one more time to you if you want to get the visa please follow what i'm saying uh, you know don't worry don't worry what what people are saying don't worry what the common perception is just follow my advice take my prescription and take my medicine and you will get the visa so you need to you need to show all your income uh you have 60000 income is not enough 60000 uh, rupees is uh, what is that uh, how much dollars is that uh 400 how much 50 450 canadian oh, dollar for uh, less than 500 dollars yeah yeah so less than so it is very important to 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 file the tax so that you know uh, you know the government knows how much total income you have now you said that you have daily income and some other income so uh, all this income you have to document you if you have daily income then we need daily receipts what type of receipts are actually you know our daily system we don't need list of your customers we need list of your customers where are you selling are you selling to some mithai shop or halwai or something where we we need to understand where this money coming from we need to document each and every single rupees and where is coming from in a in a spreadsheet showing that this is your total income per year I got your point, but actually, sir, I'm not getting from where we can get the receipt. It's manual receipt. What, I should get what, monthly. What, how many? How many customers? How many clients do you have for dairy? Actually, sir, we have twenty plus animals. We are just like it's a you can say a family business. It's not just my own. It's our like family joint family system. So that's very fair. No, just we are selling milk. So buying a food is a normal. That's. are we doing yeah. in india like india look look i i i understand it is not required and it is traditional not to keep receipts but you need to make a list of clients all your write the names of 20 people who take milk every month like a, you know like a like a bulk sale every month you need to make a list of all these clients and you know you need to show gross how much how much milk they buy every year uh, from you and what is the total gross income that you get from them that is why it is very very important i will i will say this 10 more times that it is very important that you file your total income with the pakistani government and i need to present the total income statement from the pakistani government that this person has total uh, you know income from these sources so i hope it will be more than 60000 rupees i mean if you have 60000 rupees as as salary uh, and then you know uh, what, what is your total gross income anyway per month from all sources from dairy you were saying that? from everywhere in the world what is the total amount of money that you get in your pocket from all the sources sir all other sources it's like you can uh, family system family business so you can say one uh, 100000 1 lakh okay so that 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 income is not in your name is it in your name uh, it's not in any other person name it's my assets on parents name Sir, sir just amounts in coming you can sir, 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 listen listen we don't want to confuse assets i am not talking about assets i am talking about your total cash income in aurangzeb's name every month what is the total cash income that is 60000 that salary i am getting sir 
Okay, so sixty thousand is is uh, uh, is insufficient. Is is quite because if you have sixty thousand a month, then you are looking at uh, you know, five, you said five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. You know, you're looking at um, what is it about uh, you know five thousand dollars a five thousand dollars a year. It is in, it is, but I, I cannot change anything. Whatever salary you have, whatever income you have, we have to document. So document each and everything what you have: salary slips, appointment letter. Pakistani government, uh, you know, uh, income tax return. We need we need list of all the daily clients, how much uh, they are paying you every month, and what is the total. So we need all of this. Uh, your bank statement has you said seventeen lakh rupees. How much you have? Twenty uh, three lakhs, sir. Okay, how much is it? In Canadian, how much is in Canadian dollars? Seventeen or eighteen thousand dollars. Eighteen thousand dollars. And this money, uh, this money was totally transferred from Dubai to Pakistan. No, sir. Actually, not transfer totally. Some I bring from Dubai. Some other, like I gave to the friends in Dubai. Then when I came, because due to COVID situation, and after that I got in May from all okay. friends and from so, parents. So what? What? What I would I would strongly also recommend. Forget about eight months. I need for you to print your your bank statement. Do you have the bank statements from Dubai also? The old statements. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what? What I need from you, just please, please ensure that you write this down. I need your two years bank statement. Two years bank statement. I I need your two years bank statements. For that means starting from uh, January two thousand nineteen and all all twelve months of two thousand nineteen and all twelve months of twenty twenty. Sir, I have a gap of three, four months in COVID uh, it situation. Does, it doesn't matter. Just, just print everything what you have. Print everything. I need a full bank statement. That means each bank statement, maybe three pages, four pages. So I need 12, 12 bank statements there, 12 bank statements here. I need each and every page, every each and every page. Not like WhatsApp, not scan. I need for you the whole statement from the bank. Every Each and every page, every debit, credit, every $5, $2, $1, so every... I want to see each and every line on your bank statement for two yes, years sir. from Dubai and Pakistan, all of it. And then what you have to do is wherever you show big money, that means you deposit 60,000. So wherever you have 60,000, you underline and then write salary, 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 wherever you got 60,000. All right. Okay. So and and uh, hopefully you will have close to eighteen thousand dollars, and then we can. So I I have to work with what whatever you have. I I cannot make you change anything because you know uh, whatever the facts are, what the facts are. I mean I I hope uh, you know I hope you were making five thousand dollars a month, but uh, you know I have to live with whatever you have. And so so just to summarize, we need your income statements uh, pretty much everywhere: income statements, salary, and daily uh, client list. And your bank statement for two years, and that's what uh, everything. So okay, so that is that is uh, income part. Let's talk about your marriage part. So uh, what I want you to do is because uh, your marriage has been unconventional. So both of you should. I know you told me some information about in in just one page. Uh, you know, I saw some summary also. You both of you should start writing. How did this friendship began? And how did the friendship begin to romance? And how did you spend time together? Uh, and then, and then moving, moving forward. So, uh, you know, close to about at least ten pages each. Ten pages. You know, you watch some movies. Uh, you watch Hollywood movies or Bollywood. Fatima, do you watch some movies? Yes. Hollywood yes. movies and Bollywood movies. Have you watched any movies? Yes, I watched. Yeah. Good. So on on the screen, what the happens is uh, husband and wife, you know, girl and boy have romance. You know, on the on the movies. So uh, what happens in the movie is the girl and boy meet each other first, and then they talk, they smile, they look at each other, they, they say hello, and then they hold hands, they go for a coffee or drink, they go for a pizza together, they go have fun, and then they and then they meet second time, they chat and WhatsApp and stuff, and then say, can you meet me tomorrow? Can we? And and this is how it goes: step one, step two, step three, step three. Do you understand? So. So it it is it never happens that you meet the person today and all of a sudden in five minutes you say I'm I'm getting married. There's always a build up, you know. There's all the story gets built up slowly. And if you if you want to see what I'm saying, you should watch some Pakistani dramas, ARY dramas. He will tell you. And there's a lot of uh, romance in the dramas to see how how that happens. So I want you to start writing your story. 
because you you converted to a different religion a uh, long time ago in 2017 what were the circumstances i want you to write uh, uh, at least five pages on on why did you convert on islam can you can you can you write down what i'm telling you yes, so yes. so i want you to write uh, five pages uh, what was the religion in your family in vietnam uh how do people in vietnam live and what prompted you to be get influenced by islam and then you converted into islam in june 2017 what were the circumstances what were the influences and then once you converted to islam uh, uh five pages on this and then what made you look for a muslim groom or muslim boyfriend uh, how did you search how did you enter this uh, you know dating website how many other grooms how many other uh husbands you know potential fiances that you uh, looked at and how did you zero upon him and then when you said hello to him what what did he tell say back you know there must be some story behind it it's not like one second so i want you to spend a, a, another five pages on this so we have 10 pages on the pre pre uh, conversion uh, and then uh, how did you end up on on this website and what happened and how many other groups did you see Or, or maybe you were chatting with, and how did you zero on on this, and what happened? So, if I were you, I can write a fifty-page story, five zero, fifty pages, five fifty, ten, 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 fifty pages. I can write the whole uh, Bollywood script on you know uh, um, actors and actresses. You know, full. This is a very important story of your life. You know, and so. the visa officer and i and i understand why they refuse the visa officer does not know enough about your romance so marriage is something else they need to see the story they need to see the love they need to see how you smile at each other they need to see how you look into the husband they need to see how the husband is looking at your eyes they need to see the husband is looking at your nose and they're looking at your teeth uh, and they are they're smiling at you the perfume that you you know you use perfume how they're getting influenced they need to see the story so and 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 what happens maybe you know when you told your parents your mother your mother was shocked oh my god you are meeting somebody from pakistan how dare you i will excommunicate you from the from from uh, ho chi minh city you are going back you know you need to create some drama here and what did your father say what did your brother say and when you met for the first time your husband maybe your husband was wearing some funny dress and you didn't expect him to he was doing something he said okay let's eat this you say i don't like this this is too spicy and you know you need to create a drama there you know i i can literally write a full uh, hollywood movie drama here for 50 pages you know you need to uh, write all those things and then and then go how did you get uh, married and then what happened in the marriage ceremony how many people uh, came in and what were the photographs and who came in maybe the priest and something and then we went to honeymoon then honeymoon you you need to have special photos for so one photo one sequence is the photos of the chat uh, and screenshots and then the first meeting uh, photos and and uh, testimonials about the first uh, the was the second meeting and then third maybe you had a honeymoon then you was in separate honeymoon honeymoon you went the maybe hotel bill or he gave you a gift a gift receipt we need to have show all all these things and then after you left i mean there's a big story i mean there's a huge story this is like this can be converted into a movie as well i mean because this is a classic story so i want you to start writing and so one version you will write and the other version uh, the husband will write so both of them have to write separately and the the reason i'm saying all this is is for two two purposes one is i want them uh, i want uh, a visa officer sitting in in canada or something they don't, they don't know anything they are looking at this hey this guy is from pakistan all the pakistan people are running to canada they they only know this and say why did you choose this girl and then even vietnam say hey, vietnamese people are running to canada okay she already got a study visa she's already there and then now now the husband say oh this is a golden opportunity let's latch on to this marriage and go to canada and go to toronto and start making some serious money so this is all they're looking at because they have not seen the whole story so i want you to start documenting the story and we're putting up evidence on the photographs and chatting and maybe phone calls to mother in law father in law brother in law and vice versa and you know those things and that will show what is going on and maybe he is supporting you with money or you are supporting him some money or he is sending you some valentine gift who knows you know like a 
you know, you, did he send you any gift for Valentine's Day or <laughs> you know, some kind of gifts and some kind of receipts or money transfer, those things, uh, you know, have to be shown uh, that this is happening. Only then uh, it will be clear that this relationship is stable and consistent and this is not to for for some other purpose. Uh, and that is the second part of the application. So one part is the the husband's income and money. Uh, and the second part is your romantic story. And only then, then we have some success, uh, which will happen in uh, May, May or June of the uh, next uh, this coming year, and then we can apply. Okay, sir. Our next question is: uh, Before the time from the Pakistan, the processing time it was forty-six week, so he was really confused, like it's a uh, uh, one year, but now it's sixteen weeks. So you're also confused with the one a day they change the time 46 yeah. weeks and 16 weeks. There, there's no need. There's no need to be confused. This is a government of Canada. Look, uh, everybody in this world is trying to come to Canada. Uh, you ask anybody in Vietnam, you ask anybody in Pakistan, you ask anybody in India. Hey, do you want to go to Canada? Yes, hey, I'm ready. Everybody's going. So there are more applications than the visa officers who can process them. So there's a huge demand and supply gap. That's number one. Uh, because of COVID, and, uh, many offices in Canada are not working, so they are backlogged. That is also a, a reason. Number three, all this processing time was from January of 2020 till, till now. That means for the last 12 months. So this processing time will improve and go down hopefully next year if the COVID improves. So my, my Prescription to you is you do not worry and do not care about the processing time. My our job is to submit the right occupation, the right information, the right application with the right submission. Let them worry about uh, you know processing time. We don't care about process. I have some some applications of my. I have submitted some applications. My clients also they have been waiting for more than six months. So uh, I, I I don't control I don't control how much time it will take. All right. My job is to ensure that that the information is presented in a way that the visa officer will approve the application. I don't control how long will it, it will take. Sir, ye abhi work permit apply in April. So hope so she will get three year work permit because one year is the first study and then second year. Two years ki study, hai, one, one year. Jee. So three, uh, three years will be work permit two years? Uh, three years. Three years. So, Fatima, you have spent two years studying in Canada? Yes, like I, I finished one program, it's one year, and then this is my second program, one yeah. year. So 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 you will she will get three years of work permit. Sir, if you have a work permit, so you think that in the express entry pool, at the same time, if we suppose visa apply, at the same time, in express entry pool, you can apply your application in score pure hote hain ya nahi aur kaun sa right time hai for express entry uh express entry mein ye express entry mein tab dal payengi jab inke points bante hain ab main inse pooch leta hu ki inke paas aur kya degree wala to abhi abhi clear main kar deta hu fatima what is your uh, what is your degree from what is your degree from vietnam it's a bachelor degree i have already done my uh, wvs evaluation uh, and they evaluate is same uh, bachelor degree in canada yeah, so you have bachelor's degree in Canada. So uh, he was asking about express entry for you. So right now you will not have enough points for express entry. Because express entry, ke liye, we need master's degree and above to make points. So and you don't have any experience in uh, in Vietnam as well working, correct? No, I have two years working. Uh, doing what? Um, my job in Nok B. Uh, I work as a quality uh, engineer in Vietnam. Quality engineer. What what was your degree in uh, Vietnam as an engineer? Are you an engineer? Yeah, Bachelor of Engineer. Bachelor of Engineer. So two years. So you can make the express entry profile, but I I don't think you will make enough points to uh, to get the cutoff. Uh, yeah, for, for, I know. You you will not. You will not. So yeah. and plus you don't have a Canadian experience right now. So yeah. uh, uh, you can make the express entry profile, but it's of no use uh, right now because you will not get the cutoff now. The only thing I can imagine is to get the immigration quick, you know, just what he said was PR uh, to get the immigration. So you have to leave uh, Ontario and you can go to Nova Scotia or Prince Edward Island or uh, Manitoba 
you know, Vancouver. You can go anywhere. You can leave uh, Ontario and, and uh, find a job. And uh, you you have to work there uh, in that province for one year, and then you can get the nomination. So that is the quickest way I can imagine. So you don't even have to go to Express Entry. Uh, if you work in some smaller provinces, and after working for a minimum amount of time, uh, you can you can get the nomination. Some some provinces, like I know in uh, Prince Edward Island, uh, there's not even a waiting time. So if you have a job offer, let's say in May you have a job offer in office administration, office management, engineering, maybe something, uh, and then you can apply for the nomination in Prince Edward Island immediately without even uh, any waiting time. And then you can even add your husband to the PNP. So uh, you know you and your husband will get the nomination at the same time uh, if you have a job job there in that province. So express entry is not which for is you. better. So which is better, sir, is applying on work permit spouse visa or getting PNP? So both both of them can happen at the same time. It does not matter. Now, uh, as I said earl earlier, that she needs a job offer. Everything is dependent in Canada on a job offer. If she has a good job offer in in and any uh, any other province, Ontario, Ontario, where she is, they they don't have a. Uh, nomination system for students at uh, at uh, certificate level. So my strong recommendation is that she should plan to leave Ontario as soon as after April, and then find a job of uh, offer in some other place. Uh, and then uh, uh, then based on the uh, and the experience requirements, once she has the requisite experience, then she can apply for the PNP at the same time. And your application to a work permit will also be so both applications can be do done at the same time. Okay, sir. Sir, अभी आप क्या सोचते हैं कि इनको before April Pakistan visit करना चाहिए? करना चाहिए. Getting marriage मतलब अच्छा. बिल्कुल कहाँ? ये बहुत सौ सौ फीस दिया आपने सही बात कर दी. इनको करना चाहिए. Uh, just let me just uh, say in English. Uh, he was asking, is should you visit Pakistan? I said yes, absolutely. This is the right time to visit Pakistan. Why? Because most of the studies are online right now. Are you online studies? Yes. Yeah, so there's no need to go to the classroom. So you are wasting your time in in uh, Canada right now. You should fly to Lahore tomorrow. Uh, spend two three months uh, in in Lahore. Enjoy enjoy boti kebab in Lahore. Lahore other things, um, and then uh, spend some time. Meet your in laws. You know, mother in law, father in law, brothers, and and uh, visit uh, all the cattle and you know dairy and uh, eat drink uh, milk there in in pakistan and take a lot of photographs you know take about 100 200 photographs visit those so you have you have uh, proof of uh, you know uh, with which you call as proof of uh, conjugal visit like you know your husband and wife are living together so you have another 100 200 photographs and we will attach these photographs in your application in in may of 2021 so you should i i appreciate he said that uh, you should absolutely not waste a single day you should have gone right now what are you doing in christmas in in canada everything is closed yeah because like um due to the travel restriction of canada like i'm afraid that if i go now and then after 3 to 4 months um if the covid situation is not getting better or something like i cannot go back to canada because of like border closing no, or something no, no. like that I, i don't think so you already have a study permit that was issued uh, earlier uh, issued from uh, previous to 2021 so they will not stop you uh, they will not stop you absolutely not uh you you can take permission from your college uh, how long can you there because you have to uh if if you can now technically you can complete all the program and online and you don't even have to come to canada you can apply for post graduate work permit by sitting in pakistan also uh, by applying to the canadian high commission in islamabad you can get everything from there and then once you have the 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 post graduate working visa on your passport and then you can come there because now you have to start working so uh, technically you can live there for at least uh, you know who knows three at least three months easy i wish i wish yeah, actually I, i wish i wish i can go to pakistan i'm also dying to go to pakistan i have so many friends in pakistan i want to go to pakistan myself maybe we can go together sir most welcome आप आ सकते हैं लेकिन ये आप पंजाब से या पाकिस्तान से आपको प्रॉब्लम नहीं है इनको बड़ी प्रॉब्लम है कि यहाँ इंटरनेट का इशू हो जाता है 
कभी चौदह अगस्त हो गया तो इशू हो गया कभी धरना हो गया तो इशू हो गया तो ये कहती है अगर इंटरनेट का इशू होगा तो मेरे एग्जाम कैसे होंगे Yeah, that's that's a problem. Internet, internet may be a problem in Pakistan. Yeah, that is uh, which I don't know how to solve that problem. Yes, uh, you need light. Uh, you know, twenty-four hours electricity. They may not have electricity in villages. Maybe you need to be in a big city, so you need uh, uh, you know electricity and internet. That is a I, I don't. We can solve like we have our resources in Pakistan, but the internet issue we cannot solve. Sometimes for two days, if they have any problem, they block the service in whole Pakistan, like especially in Islamabad and Rawalpindi. Yeah. So yeah. in our division, we cannot do anything. Yeah. So there is a problem. Yeah. But hey, look, uh, you don't have to be on internet all day long. Uh, you can uh, do some batch assignments or something. You know, be in communication with the college, and then you can do this eventually. Even even look, I have. I have two daughters. I am in Canada. I have two daughters, and my daughter is studying in college also. So, uh, Fatima, what is your age? Ah, uh, I'm 29. Yeah, you are 29. My my daughter is 20 years old. All right. So, so I mean, you know, you know, there there is a there is an issue about uh, about uh, college courses in 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 Canada also. It, it's not that you have to be on internet all day long. You can. You can complete the assignments, and uh, you can uh, complete uh, you know the work, and then email them or something. So it can be managed. It's not impossible, but for sure, uh, you cannot imagine Pakistan internet to be as uh, as uh, from Ontario. So this is minor issue. I don't think there's there's a greater issue here that you have to uh, show uh, commitment to the husband and spending more time. It it is good for the husband's visa after uh, four months from now. So I, if I were you, I would strongly do that. Forget about the internet. I think you should go. Okay. Yeah, Lahore. If you go to, he, he's in Lahore. I think. I think. Uh, I. I think. Hanji. Uh, Rawal Pindi, sir. Rawal. Acha Rawal Pindi, acha. So, so if you if you have never been to Pakistan, uh, it is my dream to go to Pakistan. Forget about yours, actually. Uh, I think uh, you will enjoy a good time there, and then uh, have a good food. uh you can take you to places you can go even go to kashmir if you have never been there or there are, there are a lot of places in pakistan to move and uh, enjoy uh, enjoy uh, life and i think you will like it it's not only just uh, sightseeing but uh, you need to spend more time uh, maybe uh, meet uh, meet his brothers uh, meet his uh, you know um, you know like his, uh, your your mother in law just see what mother in laws are you know pakistani mother in laws Uh, I, I don't know, but uh, but um, my mother-in-law she passed away long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you need to find out what mother-in-laws make daughter-in-laws do. You need to do and uh, you know kitchen and uh, do some salon and you know make lassi and there are a lot of things you will enjoy. Uh, uh, you know you you want to see the, what the real life is, and uh, I think uh, don't waste this time uh, because once your work permit starts, then you will have no time to go. So if I were you today is uh, what is this 28 December you should book uh, there's a direct flight from I think Toronto to uh, maybe I don't know or koi rogi flight Pakistan so go there to Pakistan he has all the money ask him to send you a ticket and then you can go yes <laughs> yeah yeah I think I think oh, this is good for your for your application इंटरनेट का इशू कैसे सॉल्व होगा और ये वापस कैसे जाएगी नहीं 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 डोंट वरी अबाउट इट कुछ कोई चक्कर नहीं आई आई विल ब्रिंग यू बैक फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान डोंट वरी यू कैन गो वापस ऑन द वापस ऑन द कोई चक्कर नहीं है यू विल कम बैक इंटरनेट इशू आई इन आई कैन नॉट सॉल्व द इंटरनेट इशू या या अच्छा चलो सर समराइज एक सेकंड एक सेकंड इफ यू इफ यू गो टू पाकिस्तान इफ एंड आई आई वांट यू टू गो If you go to Pakistan, you can make your own like a YouTube channel. You all of the Pakistan will follow you. They will say, "Hey, who is this Vietnamese girl?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every everybody will come. Even maybe the Prime Minister of Pakistan will come and see you. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. That's all. Keep going. सर्जन है समराइज करते हैं और मुझे सिर्फ अच्छा मेरी तरफ से यानी आप कह रहे कि इनकम टैक्स जो वो मस्ट है. सर जी इनकम टैक्स इसलिए मस्ट है क्योंकि जो कैनेडियन वीजा ऑफिसर को कुछ नहीं पता कि आपकी ऑफिशियल इनकम कितनी है बाहर दी इनकम कितनी है ऊपरी इनकम कितनी है थले दी इनकम कितनी है इनकम का एक पूरा जायजा लेने ले सारा उन्होंने डिक्लेयर करके जो सरकारी दस्तावेज है वो तो चाहिए अगर मैं सिक्सटी थाउजेंड की सैलरी ले रहा हूँ प्लस मैं अगर शो करूँ कि सिक्सटी डेयरी फार्मिंग से मुझे आता है इन एफ 
सो दे विल टेक टैक्स फॉर मीर सो बेटर रहेगा जी जो सरकार जो सरकारी एक ऑफिशियली आप बयान करके इनकम बताते हो ना तो उसको हम मान लेते हैं कि हाँ भाई ये ये सच्ची होगी मतलब कि इसमें कोई शक करने वाली ज्यादा गुंजाइश नहीं है तो अगर आप एक लाख बीस हाँ जी जी दिसंबर तो एंड हो गया जनवरी से मैं कर सकता हूँ पर मंथ करो करो तरतीब से मैं करो बिल्कुल करो अच्छा इसके अलावा किसी एस्टेट की मुझे अपने नाम पर जरूरत नहीं है जमीन होगी गाड़ी होगी गाड़ी अगर अगर है तो ठीक है बाकी हमें कोई जरूरत नहीं है अगर आपके पास है अभी कराने की जरूरत नहीं अगर पुराना चल रहा है तो ठीक है नहीं सर पुराना नहीं आपको पता है सारा कुछ पेरेंट्स के नाम पे ही होता है ऊपर से मैं दुबई था तो यही हम तीन रहें तो उसको ट्रांसफर करने की जरूरत नहीं है जो अभी अभी तक पुराना नहीं था उसको कराने की जरूरत नहीं है चलिए सर हमारे लिए ये नहीं एक फाइनल हो गया कि हम अभी अप्लाई नहीं कर सकते हम अप्लाई करेंगे आफ्टर गेटिंग वर्क परमिट ठीक ठीक और और वर्क परमिट का मैं बता दू उसको अगर ये पाकिस्तान में रहती है और वहां पर इसका अगर पूरा अगर अगर कॉलेज इसका कहता है कि हमने इसका कोर्स खत्म कर दिया वहां पर हो जाए तो इसको इसको जो इसको जो डर लग रहा है कि जो वर्क परमिट होगा ये वर्क परमिट की एप्लीकेशन मैं खुद करूंगा इसको पाकिस्तान में कैनेडियन हाई कमीशन इस्लामाबाद वो उसको खुद पासपोर्ट पे वीजा वर्क वीजा लगा के देंगे इसको वहां से शान से इस्लामाबाद से वापस आएगी वर्क वीजा लेके नहीं वो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं आएगी नहीं नहीं कोई अरे रोज होता है ऐसे काम यार इसमें कोई चक्कर ही नहीं है अच्छा चले ये सर इस पे भी हम आपस में डिस्कशन कर लेते हैं यानी वर्क परमिट भी और यहाँ से बैठे बैठे पाकिस्तान से अप्लाई हो सकता है लेकिन देन सर वीजा अप्लाई करने के लिए जॉब तो चाहिए होगी बात तो उधर ही जाएगी नहीं नहीं आपने नहीं नहीं वो आपका वीजा है इसके वीजा के लिए नहीं इसका वीजा जो है इसको वीजा इसके कॉलेज के लेटर से हो जाएगा जो आपका जो वीजा है वो उसके लिए इसको आके यहाँ पर कम से कम डेढ़ महीने काम करना पड़ेगा हाँ सो तो, ये भी एक इशू है उस पर भी जरिए पता जॉब अप्लाई करना इशू तो है इतनी इतनी जुताई तो सहनी पड़ेगी आपको वो तो जब आएगी जब नौकरी करेगी जब यहाँ पर कुछ तनख्वाह लेगी तभी तो वो अपने हस्बैंड को स्पॉन्सर करेगी और उसके बाद फिर जैसे अगर ये मई में जॉब करती है जैसे अगर अलग से अगर अप्रैल मई में में हम लगाते हैं और अगर उसमें अगर तीन महीने लगते हैं छह महीने लगते हैं हमारा कोई कंट्रोल नहीं है कितना टाइम लगता है हमारा काम है इसको अप्लाई करना जब भी लगेगा तब उसके बाद फिर जो वीजा ऑफिसर का रिस्पॉन्स अगर देखेंगे अगर वो रिफ्यूज करता है फिर उसको चैलेंज करेंगे फिर जो करना करेंगे मीन जब वह आएगी अगर ये छोटी प्रॉब्लम में जाती है तो वहां से पी भी अप्लाई कर सकती है पीएनबी वाली ऑप्शन आपने वो भी अच्छी बताई है बहुत दोनों ही साथ में साथ में करनी है इसको इसको पहले खदेड़ के इसको कहो कि तुम यहाँ पर ओंटारी में लगेगी नहीं फाइल इसको छोटी जगह छोटे सूबे में जाके इसको नौकरी अभी से तलाश करनी चाहिए हाथ में जॉब होगी तब जाके इमीजिएटली करेगी अदरवाइज टाइम वेस्ट हो जाएगा यानी अगर ये किसी छोटे सूबे में जाके जॉब करती है तो आफ्टर फोर्टी फाइव डेज पी एन पी अपलाई कर सकती है मैंने मैंने सारे सूबे पे नहीं है ये कुछ कुछ सूबे में वेटिंग टाइम है एक साल का जैसे प्रिंस एडवर्ड आलमेंट का नाम मैंने लिया तो उनकी वेबसाइट पे लिखा हुआ है कि अगर कोई वर्क परमिट होल्डर वाला जब पीजे वर्क परमिट होल्डर वाला वहां आता है उसके पास जॉब है मतलब स्किल जॉब है तो जैसी जॉब मिलती है उसको अगले दिन वो अप्लाई कर सकते हैं उसमें वेटिंग टाइम नहीं है बाकी प्रोविंस में वेटिंग टाइम है सर किस प्रोविंस का आप नाम ले रहे थे जिसमें वेटिंग टाइम नहीं है मैं दिखा देता हूं आपको वेबसाइट दिखाता हूं होल्ड होल्ड कर जाए मैं आपको इसी पे स्क्रीन पे दिखा देता हूं आप इसको पकड़ लेना है होल्ड जस्ट मिनट मैं इसको खोल देता हूं उसको समझा दो उसको भाई सोच रही है क्या क्या है मैं इसको बता दो जरा क्या कह रही हूं यार मैं इसको दिखा देता हूं स्किल वर्कर्स एक सेकंड होल्ड करना जरा यस कर लो उसको बता दो मैं दिखा के रहा हूँ उसको तो बता दो कि वो सोच रही क्या बातें कर रहा हूँ बातें कर किधर जाना है मैंने उससे पहले बताया हुआ था कि मैं सर पंजाबी हैं तो आपस में बातें करेंगे कंफ्यूज नहीं होना जी 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 सो आई एम आई एम शोइंग समथिंग ऑन योर फातिमा इफ यू कैन सी योर स्क्रीन आप इसमें स्क्रीन पे कैन यू सी समथिंग ऑन द स्क्रीन आई एम शोइंग समथिंग स्क्रीन देख रहे हैं Yes, no. No, I don't see any. I, I because Nothing. I'm using a Skype on my phone, so. Oh, okay. No, you can see on the phone as well, but in Dominic community, can you see my screen? What does it say on the screen? No. Nothing, sir. Nothing. Just black screen will be full. Well, only so that I'm not going to do it. Can you see now? Nothing, sir. Sir, screen is very black. It doesn't show anything. Ah, uh, Fatima, you can see now. No, you no, cannot. No, I don't see. Okay, 
Well, I guess I will just uh, I will stop the screen sharing. And uh, can I can I uh, type on your WhatsApp or I can uh, type something on the chat? You know, if yeah, you look, yes, yes, please. If you if you look at the chat, WhatsApp it कर सकते हैं जी सर. Yeah, uh, just just uh, take a look at the chat. Uh, I link I sent you on the chat. Yes. Can you okay. can you click click and open? Yes, sir. Click and open and tell me what does it say. Uh, it's a website. It is still working and brings our eyes. That's good. So this is where this is where I am taking you. So you need to uh, you need to go to uh, Prince Edward Island, and in Prince Edward Island, if you have a job, uh, if you have a job offer in in a skill class. Uh, and uh, you have uh, or oh, you you require to now your uh, your experience of engineering in vietnam was that in the past 5 years uh i think it's over 5 year because i start working in 2014 until 2016 okay so, over so maybe that that will not uh, make you eligible then all i if you had uh, experience in in uh, in vietnam also in the past 5 years and if you have a job offer Uh, in uh, in Prince Edward Island, that could have qualified immediately, but otherwise, this will not work for you. Let me see if that postgraduate work permit for uh, oh yeah, international. I just let me see uh, this one. Let me just open up. Uh, yeah. So uh, for sure, then you need some uh, you need some experience in in that province as well. to um uh, you know to to qualify so every every province has a certain uh, you know requirement uh, that you you uh, you do that and then you can qualify now there's another program called rnip let me just show you uh, you know rural and pilot program northern yes, pilot yes yes i know that program okay so in in rnip uh if you want to work in ontario then you should work in in uh, there are some cities in um there are some cities in rnip and uh, do you, do you know what that what those are i'll give you some so you can work in north bay and sudbury and timmins uh, salt st marie and thunder bay there are five provinces or five uh, like a rural places if you work there then of course you will you can apply for the rnip immediately and i i can show you uh, i i can show you a link i can just type a link here for you so so that's that's another way uh click on the link the last link i sent you yes sir open this link yes yeah it it gives you the name of cities there are some five cities yeah not bay uh sabri timmin south uh st mary or something and thunder bay other cities well but in is they are in other province yeah there are other provinces as well so so if you want to if you want to get a job offer you should go and get a job offer in these these uh, places like uh, you know there are some uh, in manitoba brandon altona in uh, moose jaw in, in uh, saskatchewan do you see those uh, vernon bc so if you get a job offer in one of these places then you can you can uh, apply for the rnip nomination directly oh, okay so so you can you have to you have to ultimately is either either norm is pnp or rnip or express entry express entry you don't qualify for now so uh, depending on the job offer then we can look at you know whether you qualify in that province or not because uh, uh, otherwise every province requires some kind of waiting time they want to see uh, if you have a uh, you know like some kind of uh, experience or commitment to that province that's what they want to see और सर इनको आईएड्स भी जनरल दोबारा करना पड़ेगा जी करना पड़ेगा एकेडमिक वो तो कर लेगी ये तो सब करते हैं वो तो कर लेगी हां वो तो कर लेगी हां वो तो करना पड़ेगा ये थोड़े पापड़ तो बेलने पड़ते हैं भाई पीएन पे कुछ ना कुछ करने के लिए हां जी 
इसलिए हसबेंड वाइफ के पास पैसे होने चाहिए क्योंकि आपको रहना है ऊपर सपोर्ट हसबेंड वाइफ को इतने पैसे चाहिए तो इनके पास पैसे कम है आप इनके पैसे इनके इनके अकाउंट में हजार हजार डॉलर कम से कम अगले चार महीने के लिए डालते रहे भेजते रहे और मेरे अकाउंट में सर इधर कितने होने चाहिए वो सर जी आप, आपके भी अकाउंट में चलते रहने चाहिए आपके पास अभी 18000 डॉलर है अच्छे हैं लेकिन इनके अकाउंट में भी थोड़ा सा आपके मुकाबले खाली लग रहा है हमें अगर आपके पास आप मैं नहीं चाहता हूं कि आपके पैसे कम हो जाए अगर आपके पास कहीं बार बारो बार से कहीं पैसे हो सकते हैं जैसे अगर आपके भाई वाले दे सकते हैं कोई और दे सकता है तो उनके आप भी अकाउंट ऊपर लगाना चाहिए थोड़ा सा आ, लेकिन आपके पास अच्छे अभी जो सत्रह लाख या अठारह हजार डॉलर है उसको मेंटेन करें उसमें निकाले नहीं पैसे उसको मैं ऐसा ना कोई छेड़ के तब तक खाली ना हो जाए कहीं समझ रहा हूँ No, because like uh, I think we have already asked all the question already. Yeah. आपका video चला गया. Video is gone. Online academy. What is online academy? Sir, जी online academy में मेरी है. की करते हो online academy? कैसी थी academy life? Sir, actually मैं accounts की teaching भी करता था. दुबई में भी भी मतलब private extra time आप समझ लें जैसे home tuition होती है. पाकिस्तान में भी करता रहा हूँ. अच्छा ਉੱਥੇ ਕੀ ਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਸਰ ਜੀ ਹੋਮ ਟਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਦੀ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਏਸੀ ਦੀ ਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨ ਸਰ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਹੋਮ ਟਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਸਰ ਜੀ ਟਿਊਸ਼ਨਸ ਅਕੈਡਮੀਜ਼ ਸਰ ਤੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਕਿਹੜਾ ਹੋਮ ਟਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਇੱਥੇ ਲੋਕੀ ਪੜਦੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਇੱਥੇ ਟਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਟਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਬੰਦ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਇੱਥੇ ਟਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਦਾ ਚਲੋ ਗੱਲ ਤੇ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜਿਹਨੇ ਪੜਨਾ ਹੈ ਉਹਨੇ ਪੜਨਾ ਹੀ ਹੈ ਡਿਪੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਕਿ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੀ ਪੜਾਓਗੇ ਕੁਝ ਹੈ ਇੱਥੇ ਤੇ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਰਿਕੁਆਇਰਮੈਂਟ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਲੋਕ ਟਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਟਾਸ਼ਨ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨਿਆਣੇ ਦੀ ਉਹ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੈ ਮੈਥ ਮੈਥ ਐਂਡ ਸਾਇੰਸ ਦੀ ਮੈਥ ਸੀ ਦਾ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੀ ਮੈਥ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਅਕਾਊਂਟਸ ਉਥੇ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਦੀ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਤਾਂ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਇੱਥੇ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨੀ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਸੀਗੀ ਇੱਥੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਮੈਂ ਰਹਿ ਰਿਹਾ ਨਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਆਪਣਾ ਏਰੀਆ ਮੇਰੇ ਮੱਲੇ ਇਨ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਉਥੇ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨੀ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਸੀਗੀ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਵੇਅਰ ਫਰਮ ਲਾਹੌਰ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਮੈਂ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਭਾਈ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਆਪ ਇਹ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਮ ਆਪਣੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਕੋ ਪੜਾ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕੇ ਉਰਦੂ ਦੀ ਲੈਸਨ ਲਗਾ ਰਹੇ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਸੇ ਕੋਈ ਉਰਦੂ ਪੜਾਤੇ ਹਨ ਕੋ ਵਹਾਂ ਸੇ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇੱਥੇ ਦੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਉਹ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਬੋਲਦੇ ਹਨ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਜੀ ਉਰਦੂ ਕੇ ਲੈਸਨ ਸੁਣ ਕੇ ਆਨਲਾਈਨ ਚੱਲ ਰਹੇ ਹਨ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਇਹ ਅੱਛਾ ਕੰਮ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਉਰਦੂ ਕੇ ਔਰ ਕੁਰਾਨ ਕੇ ਸਰ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਸੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਚੱਲ ਰਹੇ ਹਨ ਆਨਲਾਈਨ ਉਨ ਉਨਕੇ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਕਰਤੇ ਹਨ ਉਹ ਉਨਕੀ ਕਲਾਸ ਹੋਤੀ ਹੈ ਸਰ ਇੱਕ ਘੰਟੇ ਦੀ ਕਲਾਸ ਲੈਤੇ ਹਨ ਆਨਲਾਈਨ ਪੜਾਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਇਹ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਸਿੱਖ ਰਹੇ ਹਨ ਕਲਾਸ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆਨਲਾਈਨ ਹੀ ਸਿੱਖ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹਨ ਸਾਰੇ ਜੀ ਜੀ ਸੋ ਉਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦਾ ਕੰਮ ਚੱਲਦਾ ਹੈ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਜੀ ਜੀ ਚਲੇ ਸਰ ਜੀ ਇਨਸ਼ਾਅੱਲਾ ਫਿਊਚਰ ਮੈਂ ਇਨਸ਼ਾਅੱਲਾ ਅਗਰ ਆਏ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਅੱਛਾ ਸਰ ਜੀ ਦੂਸਰੀ ਬਾਤ ਮੈਨੇ ਪੁੱਛਣੀ ਥੀ ਸੋ ਫਾਤਮਾ ਇਧਰ ਹੈ ਚਲੇ ਉਸਕੋ ਸਮਝ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਏਗੀ ਤੋ ਪੇਮੈਂਟ ਕੇ ਹਵਾਲੇ ਸੇ ਸਰ ਜੀ ਅਗਰ ਵੀਜ਼ਾ ਆਪਸੇ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੋ ਤੋ ਕੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਪੇ ਪੇਮੈਂਟ ਕਰ ਆਪਕੋ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਕੋ ਬਤਾ ਦੂ ਪੇਮੈਂਟ ਕਾ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਕਿਆ ਹੈ ਹਮਾਰਾ ਬੜਾ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਹੈ ਹਮ ਲੈਤੇ ਹੈ ਆਪਕੋ ਵੀਜ਼ਾ ਅਗਰ ਕੋਈ ਹਮ ਕੇਸ ਲੈਤੇ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਬਾਤ ਤੋ ਹਮ ਸਾਰੇ ਕੇਸ ਲੈਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਕੇਸਸ ਹਮ ਤਵੀ ਲੈਤੇ ਜਬ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋ ਦਿਲ ਕੋ ਛੂ ਜਾਏ ਉਸਕੋ ਔਰ ਉਸਕੋ ਲੱਗਤਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਇਸਕੇ ਸਾਥ ਹਮ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਟਿਪੀਕਲੀ ਹਮ ਮੰਨ ਕੇ ਚਲਤੇ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਆਧ ਬਾਰ ਹਮ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਕਰੂੰਗਾ ਤੋ ਵੀਜ਼ਾ ਰਿਫਿਊਜ਼ ਹੋ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਤੋ ਉਸਕੋ ਦੁਬਾਰਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਪੜੇਗਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਪਾਸ ਤੋ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਕੇਸ ਜੋ ਆਤੇ ਹੈ ਦੋ ਤਿੰਨ ਬਾਰ ਦੋ ਤਿੰਨ
एक हजार पहले नौ हजार वीजा के बाद और सर जी वर्क परमिट अगर करना हो जो वर्क परमिट कह रहे थे पाकिस्तान से अप्लाई करें तो आप कर देंगे तो उसका नहीं वो तो अपने आप कर सकती है मेरे को नहीं लगता कि इसको इसको वो ज, अगर इसको जरूरत होगी तो मैं कर दूंगा इसके लिए उसके लिए तो फिर मैंने सोचा नहीं इसके बारे में कितना करना है इट्स नॉट अ बिग इशू छोटी सी एप्लीकेशन है इसमें कोई इतना बड़ा मसला नहीं है बाकी अगर ये अगर ये सोचेगी ये करने के तो उसके बाद फिर देख के मैं फिर मैं कर दूंगा इसके बारे में पाकिस्तान में क्या सिस्टम है कैसे हम रजिस्टर हो सकता हूँ और कैसे मैं अपनी सैलरी प्लस डेयरी की कुछ इनकम जैसे वन लैख वन ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड शो कर लू ताकि एटलीस्ट एट नाइन हंड्रेड डॉलर बन जाए पर मंथ लोगों से मिलाओ जैसे लोगों में घर में जैसे फैमिली में लेते हो तो फोटो लोग पता लगे लोगों के साथ घुल मिल रही है मोहल्ले में जाती है बाहर जाती है कोई खाना खाने जाती है कुछ है बाहर कुछ घूमने जाती है वहाँ रोज की कम से कम अगर रोज की पचास फोटो लोगे तब जाके दो महीने में हो सकता है कि पांच सौ फोटोज और हो जाएंगी तो बहुत शो करने की जगह भी हाँ भी हमारे माशरे में घोल मिल गई है वो बड़ा जरूरी है इसके लिए करना भी मैं समझ गया हूँ सर जी चले सर जी हम डिस्कस करते हैं इनशाला बेटर होगा आपसे भी रबते में है कीप इन टच रहेंगे पहले भी आपसे ही गाइड सारा कुछ इन्फॉर्मेशन ली थी सर जी क्योंकि मेरे भाई जो है वो आपको बहुत ज्यादा सुनते हैं पसंद करते हैं तो खुद मुझे भी था मैं भी एक साल से आपकी वीडियो सुन रहा हूँ तो फिर भाई ने कहा कि गैप्स नोट लो और उनसे डिस्कशन कर लो जैसे फिर वो कहते हैं तो इनशाला सर जी फिर आपसे कीप इन टच रहेंगे जो भी प्लान बनेगा आज आज कुछ मुतमिन हुए कुछ कुछ लगा कुछ नई इजाफा हुआ कुछ नॉलेज कुछ लग रहा है सेटिस्फेक्शन कुछ हो रहा है कुछ बहुत सी चीजें की बहुत सी चीजें क्लियर हो गई है असल में एक महीने से जो मेरी वाइफ है फातिमा शी वाना अप्लाई अगैन तो ये विचार ही थी अप्लाई करें मैंने कहा पहले सर से डिस्कस करेंगे जैसे वो वे बताएंगे हम उस वे से चलेंगे अगर वो कहते हैं आज ही अप्लाई कर दो हम करने के लिए रेडी हैं डॉक्यूमेंट्स बना लेंगे अगर वो कहते हैं आफ्टर वर्क परमिट करना है तो फिर आफ्टर वर्क परमिट करेंगे तो वही बात हुई आपने कहा वर्क परमिट के बाद अप्लाई करें तो अभी हमारा जो वे है एक हमने जो करना था वो अभी यानी समझ वाजिया हो गया हमारे लिए हमने करना क्या है कैसे करना है डॉक्यूमेंट भी ऑलरेडी आपने सारे बता दिए एसेट्स के हवाले से भी और फाइनेंस के भी और मैरिज के भी मैरिज के ऊपर आपने स्टोरी लिखने को सर कही है अगर वो पाकिस्तान विजिट नहीं करती तो फिर हम कैसे इम्प्रूव कर सकते हैं सर तो स्टोरी तो जो जो पुरानी हुई है वही काफी मसाला आपके पास अगर नहीं करती तो वो भी कोई नहीं पुराना जो मसाला जो है इतने साल उससे चल रहा है दो तीन साल चल रहा है उसमें भी कम से कम पचास पेज तो शायरी लिख सकते हैं आप और अगर अभी और भी नया दौर शुरू होगा जो होगा तो और भी जुड़ जाएंगे फोकस करो आपने शादी के शादी इनकम का अलग मसला है शादी का एक रिलेशनशिप एक अलग मसला है तो कई बार होता है कि उसका बहाना करके इसको कर देते हैं अगर पैसे भी बहुत सारे हो गए तो कहेंगे जी आपकी शादी क्यों हुई कैसे हुई क्योंकि जो गोरे अफसर है आप समझ आप समझो ना गोरे अफसर को क्या पता कि इसने बिताने रखी है कैसे शादी कर ली क्या असली माजरा क्या है क्या चक्कर है अगर आपकी प्रेम कहानी वाकई लैला मजनू वाली है तो दिखनी चाहिए कागजों में सही बात है सर अब वो लैला मजनू की जो 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 जुबान है कलम है वो आपको लिखेंगे जब आपके जो जो दिल के दर्द है सामने निकल के आने चाहिए ना सही बात कर रहे हैं सर जी उसके लिए स्ट्रॉन्ग सी स्टोरी को स्ट्रॉन्ग लिखें आपने टेन पेजेस का कहा है वो हम लिखते हैं मैंने पचास पेज का भाई टेन पेजेस तो मैं पहले ही इसको मैं शादी से पहले की वो वो पहले ही वो बांध दूंगा मैं उसका जो बैकग्राउंड ही बांध दूंगा दस पेज में जी सर जब आपकी जब आपकी जिंदगी की स्टोरी है जब आपने ऐसे अपने दरिया में कूद कूद ही गए हैं तो आप उसमें पचास पेज क्या मैं देखो सौ पेजेस लगने दो उसमें मतलब जैसे एक आपने पेज लिखा एक पेज में लिखा कि मैंने उसकी आंखों की तरफ देखा उसने मेरी तरफ देखा उस वो मुस्कराई मैंने उसको झुकाया फिर मैंने ही देखा फिर उसके बाल देखे इसमें ही दो पेज हम निकाल देंगे हम तो ऐसे ही सर है कि नहीं चले सर जी जी मौसम कैसा है सर जी कनेडा का आजकल मौसम मौसम मैं आपको दिखा देता हूँ ठंड हो रही है एक सेकंड दिख रहा है कुछ नहीं दिख रहा है कैमरा शो नहीं हो रहा ना आपकी पिक्चर आ रही है ना मेरी आपको जा रही है कल आपकी तरफ से आई थी शायद आपकी तरफ से कुछ मैं एक मिनट होल्ड करना फिर जरा होल्ड कर जाओ मैं फिर इसको थोड़ा सा सिस्टम को चेंज करना पड़ेगा भाई जी यार मैं आपको तो बाहर दिखाने वाला था क्या बाहर तो बर्फ जमी हुई है एक सेकेंड मैं कैसे दिखाऊ उसको एक सेकेंड भाई 
आई डोंट नो हाउ टू डू दिस एक सेकेंड होल्ड कर देना भाई धूप लग रही है मेरे को हाथ में एक सेकेंड ये देखिए देख रहा है कुछ नहीं सर मेरे पास कुछ भी नहीं शो हो रहा कोई पिक्चर आपकी भी नहीं आ रही फातिमा की भी नहीं आ रही अपनी भी शो नहीं हो रही सर कैसे हो जाएगा क्यों नहीं आ रही अब आ रही आ रही अब नहीं सर आ रही होगी फातिमा कैन यू सी माय कैमरा हेलो फातिमा यस यस सर You can see the snow outside. Yes. Why? आप दोनों ही देख रहे हैं जो कनाडा में बैठे हुए हैं मैं पक्षण हूँ. बस ये बस ये कनाडा वाले ही मजे ले रहे हैं आप तो वहीं अभी अभी देख रहे हैं. Can you see the snow outside and the and the house is full of snow and the sun? Yes. Sir, पक्षण के बारे में plan है पक्षण आने का आपका. कभी visit करें हमें भी. Sir जी हम मैं आना चाहता हूँ मैं दे चक्कर ये कि जो जो क्या करे मैंने कहा कुछ नहीं है ये बड़े हमारे मुल्कों के जो मसले है ना बड़े वो है पंजाब के लिए तो नहीं है नहीं पंजाब में आना आना पंजाब पंजाब के वो तो जो वीजा है ना वो जो जो कॉरिडोर में आते हैं वो तो सिर्फ लिमिटेड होता है आपको घूम के एक दो दिन में चलेगा मतलब कि जनरली जैसे कि जो आके फ्लाई करके आना कनाडा से आना इस्लामाबाद घूमना मतलब वो पूरे जनरल पाकिस्तान वो उनका कुछ क्राइटेरिया अलग है जो जो पंजाब से वहाँ पर घूमने आ रहे हैं वो अलग वो लिमिटेड है उनका तो मसले ये जरूर है कि वीज़ा का हमारे मुल्कों ने ऐसी वो बीच में तकसीम कर दिया कि वीज़ा का चक्कर पड़ गया लेकिन मेरे तो कुछ कुछ क्लाइंट्स भी हैं एक्चुअली वहाँ पाकिस्तान के यहाँ पर भी और यहाँ पर भी मैं कैनेडा में बोल रहे हैं तो मैं सोच रहा हूँ कभी कभी एकदम मैं आऊँगा अब चाहे डोंट नो कि कब आऊँगा लेकिन अभी फिर कोविड का भी चक्कर चल रहा है कि क्वारंटीन करो फलाना करो ये करो ये बड़ा चक्कर है ऐसा ना हो कि कोई और क्वारंटीन का चक्कर पड़ जाए तो उसे उसे ढक्के जाइए होटल के अंदर फिर प्रॉब्लम हो जाएगी सो so, देख रहे हैं देखें कब सुजोग बनता है इसका Yes. Uh, no, I don't have any question more. Okay. So we will we will we will disconnect the call, and once you uh, disconnect the call on your Skype, you will get this video. So you have to save the video by right click, right click on your phone. Something is a MP4 file for more than 90 minutes. So then you can save the save the video, and then and replay the video again after saving, and you can even send it to his brother as well. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. बहुत शुक्रिया बहुत शुक्रिया शुक्रिया अल्लाह